Hello, it's me again. Today I would like to talk to you about some books and some sources that I thought might be interesting for you, for your transmedia project. The first book I would like to present is called The Tipping Point by Malcolm Gladwell. In his book, Malcolm is analyzing why some ideas, behaviors or products become hits and others they don't. He's trying to identify the factors that make this happen to then um, positively use or control these processes for our own projects. It is um, interesting, it is really easy to read and I would recommend it. The second book I would like to introduce you to is called Linked, written by Albert Laszlo Barabasi about um, networks and how they, in a really fundamental way, they are quite similar. Being at a party, a network you make there, or in a molecular cell reaction, you would think now, what a book is he talking to us about? This is like horrible and dry, but no, it's not. The book is written in a certain style of like a detective story that is analyzing or trying to find out the laws of networks and is written in a really fun and entertaining way. And I tell you, at the end, um, you will see networks really everywhere. The third book I would like to talk to you about is called The Producer's Guide to Transmedia by Nuno Bernardo. It is basically a how-to book, how to fund, how to develop, how to produce. Apart from that, I am usually telling the people reading great but what is important is you need to go out and experience experience transmedia storytelling um, go and experience social media interactivity what is it go out and play go and experiment this is how you learn two websites i would recommend you is um, the National Film Board of Canada website. They always have lots of nice and interesting projects. I also recommend the FWA website. It stands for Favorite Website Awards. In my interview, something completely different now, I was asked if transmedia storytelling has changed the form of storytelling as we know it now. And I said no. So I thought about how can I show you or tell you about a, an idea or, or project or a story that um, explains it the easiest or best way. And <laughs> believe it or not, I came across this. Now, don't get scared if you can't really see what it is. It's basically the mythology of the ancient Greek gods. And I think that is a really cool way in explaining transmedia. Because think about it. You have these Greek gods and um, you see all of them here. This is your entire story universe. You have different gods. They all have a story. They have maybe co stories with each other. They are di different characters or they, yeah, they depend on each other, they give, it gives more explanation, you understand different picture or different stories better if you know the background of something else, but it's not necessary for the Trojan Wars, you don't need to know about the relationship between X and Y. There were also many theatre plays, songs and poems, sculptures and paintings, it's all the media that was available in the in in time you had different genres you had comedies amongst the stories you had dramas history mythology so this entire story universe that we have is not um, bound to one single genre it is ongoing and you find it everywhere so my little homework for you is before i let you go is look around you in your environment and see if you find transmedia in your close environment and that's it